lot of questions lately. Um, firstly, on you know certain things when turbocharging your Commodore, and in particular about the PCV system and what to do with it when you actually have the motor seeing boost. So this will basically apply to any Commodore. Obviously, things will change, but basically, and also any car that's speed density tuned. So it runs with a map sensor, basically. obviously looks completely different from stock but the same principle applies except there's a few things that have changed so I don't know it's hard to see here but there is actually a PCV valve uh, from factory under this nut here so the first step what you have to do is actually block that off so a lot of guys just pull it out and I'll put a, I'll put a photo on the screen of what it looks like but they basically pull it out crimp the end over and then that's it, put it back in. And make sure the O-ring's in there as well because if that's not there, it can actually leak boost around it and pressurize your crankcase. And if you do that, gonna have a bad time. I've got a uh, stock in that manifold for the VR. Uh, this is my old one before I got another one and completely customized it. But you can see here, this is where that nut goes. Okay, so the next thing you need to do, uh, you'll notice on the back of your inlet manifold, so if I look at this old one again, this port here, uh, that normally has a rubber hose that snakes up to the throttle body, and that is both an outlet when under pressure, so any uh, blow-by will actually come up this and through the throttle and into the intake manifold, and also when it's under vacuum, um, the crankcase can actually suck fresh air from the throttle down into this and put fresh air through the crankcase, which is a good thing. So yeah, on my setup, um, it's obviously a lot different from stock, especially because my throttle is on the other side. But um, as you can see, basically what happens is this port comes up and it's got a T. So in that T, I've got a one-way valve. So that one-way valve will allow fresh air in but it won't let any uh, crankcase pressure out and then on the en end of that rubber hose there's just a little breather a uh, little filter down there uh, just in the transmission tunnel so when when the crankcase wants to suck fresh air in it will suck it in from that filter instead of pulling it back through the catch can which I'll show you in a sec so then once the engines in boost um, basically it's going to be putting blow by straight out here along this pipe and through my catch can filtered and back down to the turbo intake as I've shown in my previous catch can video. Uh, so the next thing I've done is I've also, because um, I've got alloy valve covers, I've actually welded on a dash 10 AN fitting onto both drivers and you can probably see the passenger one here, hopefully. Just here. So I've just, yeah, I've welded the Dash 10 aluminium AN bung on there. And then I've just run Dash 10 line from both valve covers into their own individual port on the catch can. So that will basically just be, when it's under boost, I've got plenty of ventilation for the crankcase. So it's not gonna, not gonna uh, pressurize the crankcase or the sump or anything bad like that. And again, um, this is all emissions legal, this car is engineered, and quite frankly, the engine actually runs better with a slight vacuum on the crankcase. So these, both these outlets, straight back to the turbo inlet, which when under boost, will be pulling vacuum through the turbo inlet. So that will in turn be sucking out any uh, harmful crankcase gases. So yeah, you obviously, you obviously don't need to run um, as crazy a setup as mine, like you get away with having just a breather, say, on one of the valve covers, and then also put a breather from this port here on the back of the inlet manifold. So this this one here, you could just run a, a breather straight off that and vent to the atmosphere. And same for the valve covers, or yeah, I think you can get away with even running one. I've seen a lot of guys do that. 
But yeah, you can run that and vent to the atmosphere, but I will tell you, it is not emissions legal. And it does sometimes leave a bit of an oily smell in your engine bay. Uh, most track cars you'll see with just a, a catch can with a big breather on top or yeah, just the, the breathers on the valve cover. But this is how I've chose to run it and it's a lot cleaner. And because this car is engineered, it obviously has to comply. Okay, so basically in summary, especially for those of you who still have the stock intake manifold like this one. So first step, uh, the PCV valve that's in here under the nut, you have to take that out and either crimp it over and put it back in and make sure the O-rings in there to seat down against this little boss in here. Or what I actually did, I actually uh, welded it shut from both sides just to be 100% sure that it's not gonna leak. So yeah, that's that's first step. So that is a must. But then the next thing, um, if your throttle's still in the stock position, like on this one, the throttle would just bolt straight on here. So I just remembered I actually had a spare throttle body lying around. So I'll put this on, uh, and this will do a complete mock-up of how it would be stock. So as you can see here, yeah, this, this port on the throttle um, goes down just a little rubber S hose onto the inlet manifold. You need to block off the throttle body. Um, what I did um, to do it properly, I did, I put a little uh, M6, I think, nut cert in there uh, with some sealant. And then I actually threaded in an M6 uh, bolt as well with some sealant on it. But you can get away with just a rubber hose with a bolt hose clamped in it or you know multiple ways you can do it so that's a must you must block off the throttle and then from this port um, you can either run just a, a rubber hose with a breather on it and just let it vent to the atmosphere or you can run it to a catch can or you can do what i did a bit elaborate and have a one-way valve to suck air in only and then when it's under boost, it will just push air straight through the catch can. And then lastly, obviously, uh, breathers on the valve covers. I did both, um, just because I don't want to pull them off again and have to weld them, especially now that they're painted. But you can get, I think you can get away with doing it on one side. Um, it's all one crankcase really, so that should be fine. But yeah, you need to have a breather there as well. So yeah, if you decide to run your uh, PCV system to a catch can, You've then got another two options. You can either do what I did and vent it back into the turbo inlet. It must be before the turbo because that sees no boost, it only sees vacuum. Or you can run a breather or a couple of breathers on top. Um, but the only real legal way is to run it back into the turbo inlet.